for our war review, guys. Let's get right to it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Action. What's going on, everybody? Man, Chris Pratt in just a regular teacher guy going into a time loop of a wormhole of a just a war that's literally hasn't happened yet. What crazy <laughs> stuff we're about to talk about, Angela, right? Mm -hmm. Are you excited for this? Mm -hmm. Let's get right to it, guys. Let's talk movies. Let's go. What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? I'm Ryan D, a curler Ryan 680. I'm Angela, Thag Hat Lady Ange. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys, and bring the movie world right into your ears, devices. Let's get right to it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here it is, The Tomorrow War. You know, it's funny, uh, true story. I actually did not know this was coming out this week until we got another press thing about it. I was like, oh, crap, it's coming out this week. <laughs> I wasn't really too excited. I haven't seen the trailer. So this is going in with, like, not seeing the trailer whatsoever. And, and, and granted, um, I'll go on and say, I know I'm going to get hated on the comments down below. I already got it already. Uh, comments already. He's like, he's such a lovable guy. But I am not a Chris Pratt fan. Um, I am. I did not walk in, what was it, Parks and Recreation that he was in? I just, I did not um, fall under that category. No, neither, neither the office either. But regardless, it's just that not, not my type of humor. Uh, I'm not going to say that I, I don't like the guy. That's not the case. It's just I don't like his acting style. His, him and Ryan Reynolds, I don't know. It just, they're really hit and misses with me. But yeah. I like Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'll go on and say that out of the bat. But I'm going to go on and go for a limb here because I really did enjoy this movie very much. So it had a great idea. I love the co-concept of this film. It really it takes us to a roller coaster here. Definitely a concept yeah. that makes you think. It's different. It feels like this, I mean. And it, time is involved. Yeah. It's very, a very different because I thought they're going to do, in the beginning of this film, when we go into, we're not going to mention spoilers, by the way, in the, in the, you know, it's about time and all that stuff. So it, it kind of feels like you're going to be like getting lost in it. And sometimes you, I would say the probably the very beginning, but that's any time loop movie. Uh, at the very beginning, you're kind of lost because you're just like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, it's very... Introductory. It's very... Yeah. Um, I like the way they did the time because it like a lot of, like you say, time mm. movies, you get lost because they jump yeah. back and forth. This yeah. one, it's literally like the present mm -hmm. or like, sorry, the past, which is the present. Yeah. And then you go into the future for most of the film, I would say half the film, mm -hmm. and then you're back. So it's very yeah. simple. Like you don't get lost in that sense. Mm -hmm. But again, it has to do with time loops. And, yeah. you know, we all know what ha I mean, it just makes you question, like, yeah. logically, how does things happen? Um, how does this, you know, possible with t time and everything? Yes. And it explains that. I actually really like how they present that too. some answers to these questions that we all have when it comes to Time travel movies, right? Yeah. So I really like that. Um, a lot of I questions. Like, I like the cast. <clears throat> Chris Pratt. Um, I know there's a couple of other familiar faces that I, I saw there. But I really like the cast. Um, and I think overall, I really enjoyed this yeah. film. Surprisingly, I didn't. And yeah. I, I think we had seen maybe like a clip of it or a trailer mm -hmm. at one point. Um, and I... It looked action-y. It's very action-y. Yes. And I thought it would be too much action. But I actually really liked the balance it had. The balance, yeah. I got you. So this is actually directed by Chris McKay. If you do not know what his work is, guys, Lego Movie. He directed that one. I love and, Lego and Movie. And the, the Lego Batman movie. I love Lego Batman so movie. So knowing, knowing <laughs> that, it's a very different kind of film, definitely. I would say definitely because you're going from family-oriented to, like, strong action war sequences here. Uh, and I just, right off the bat, I mean, I going into this world, you kind of get... Again, you kind of get lost in it, but you follow these characters. You follow each one. J.K. Simmons is in here, ladies and gentlemen. And my God, he just Ryan loves. I, just, I love J.K. Simmons, him, man. Loves him, dude. I love him in anything. Even when it's just, I love him more in the supporting roles than I have. I mean, dude, just Whiplash. That's all I gotta say, bro. Whiplash, <laughs> bro. I mean, granted, he wasn't a supporting. I would consider him a lead, but but we'll talk about that in another story. But so it's just directed by uh, uh, Chris McKay, uh, written by Zach Dean. Uh, so knowing knowing this, knowing these two, uh, you know, uh, these two filmmakers here, it just you really go into the depth of just like, OK, it's not a bad film, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, and we're not saying that just because it's like, oh, it's like one of those mediocre films. No, it just it really corresponds a lot on the action sequences and not going into the emotional aspect of it, which I know I had a problem with. Yeah, I know you I uh, didn't. OK, I know she did it. But there is certain scenes I just that Chris Pratt, I feel like he didn't. Succeed emotionally, but again, that's just me nitpicking. I'm sorry. It's just the way I saw I it. I see what you mean. Yeah. 
but I don't agree with you. Okay. But uh, there are certain yeah. scenes, though, like, I think you had think mentioned at the, some point, it was the yeah. chemistry between some of the actors yes. and actresses. It, it was it was uh, the chemistry again, between we, the, cur- the colonel and, uh, and, Chris and Chris Pratt. Pratt. Yeah. Won't mention spoilers, but I get what you're trying to yeah. say. But I do think he achieves that level of emotional, you know, yeah. his character, portraying his character in that mm. sentimental scene, yeah. um, these emotional scenes. I think he did it pretty well yeah. um, with other cast members than, <laughs> than some yeah. some actors. Yeah. Uh, but I, overall, I think he did a really good job. Yeah. He achieved that for me. Again, that's yeah. why I like Chris Pat. I like him as an actor. Um, I think overall, I thought it would be a very... T- stereotypical action predictable yeah, movie and true. it actually wasn't that mm-hmm. entirely it had some surprises i just didn't see yes, company definitely. coming so i appreciated that too yeah definitely i mean this is a huge time lapse. we're talking about 30 years the time difference here that we're in- so there's this certain scenes ladies and gentlemen that really that gets you into this film and you really get nervous and you get so upset this is how much i care about this movie I mean, this is me not being a chris pratt fan and i'm keep, i'm gonna keep mentioning in this review so there's this there's certain scenes where just like you just get so mad at certain situations there and you just you wanna you wanna do something and just like dude you're in it with them you're in this ride you're in this roller coaster of a film on a twist of turns and I just you get lost in it and that's good because it, those action sequences really are done very well I mean those b- bomb scenes it's just we see it a lot in the trailer and it's done very freaking well the military yeah. sequences are done well we see Chris Pratt doing his little roles in there and just. I actually like him better in, uh, as a soldier, probably, than anything. Yeah. Um, I think you're saying that because it's more serious. He did a more serious yeah. role. He, he didn't do his usual comedy. Um, true, true. But also, I got to agree with you. The way the action sequences went, I just really like the way the CGI went, too. Like, yeah. I think, like, the whole yes. picture, cinematography, like, the, mm-hmm. the wormhole that we see is there traveling yes. in time um i think it was done really well and then the monsters themselves are the, super yes. terrifying the creatures that we actually finally see and it, and it builds it up in a sense because i like that and i like bit. that i really yeah, like that that was very done by chris mckay guy i mean dude you did a great job as far as I that goes really it, like that because it kept us guessing kept us thinking like what is it what is it where is it where is it yeah, it's I, somewhere it's somewhere we see yeah i really like that like we see you don't see it like right away you see yeah. these little glimpses as as if you know, you're being thrown into the situation with them, with the creature. You don't know what it looks like, don't know what it's capable of. Exactly. And you see little glimpses here and there, and it just builds that fear, that terror. (laughs) And and I really liked it. That was really smart, I think, in this film. Um, So I got to give props to that. That was a really great, smart move. And also, we got J.K. Simmons himself, man, with the Santa Claus beard. I love that beard. Oh, my God. Seeing J.K. Simmons was just amazing and great once again i just I, i'm gonna keep mentioning that beard he needs we need to see a jk simmons santa claus we already got a kurt russell on netflix amazon or hbo you need to come out with the jk simmons uh santa claus that's Brian all i'm saying that's gonna be amazing i love it i love whiplash he should be, like, he should whiplash. be like the new bad santa <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is definitely. what if if, Sa- yeah. if santa lost a lot of weight and yeah. got in shape yeah. that's exactly how exactly he would look like jk simmons would look like him most definitely i'm gonna totally agree there and then also we got in here as well with sam richardson oh my gosh sam richardson was just freaking hilarious (laughs) i loved there's certain moments i just it just feels very natural and genuine and rawness i just i love his comedy man his comedy he was way more funnier than chris pratt was in this movie i think that that was intentional yeah but I, i i really liked his character because i feel like if us as normal people were thrown in the same situation. Yeah. We would react the same way. Definitely. Like we would use this humor as like a to cover our fear <laughs> yeah. in that situation. Yes. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> also in here guys is also Edwin Hodge who's actually in the Purge franchise. So yeah. there you go guys, he's actually known uh, to be in these, you know, military sequences mil- or this anarchy type of film here and I just I love that about it. You know, he's been he was in the the Purge uh the purge election year so knowing that where his background really is and knowing that he's in the purge franchise the uh just obviously he's not he's well known to these action sequences style films i really like his character too yeah um, done very very well i liked a lot of the chemistry between some of the cast um others were a little bit more weaker yeah. on the relationships but i, just, I yeah. really enjoyed each person what they brought to this this film again this could just be me but i just 
a lot of the Chris Pratt relationships that you see that he's progressing along this way, it doesn't really have, I don't know, it just feels weird chemistry. I don't, I, I don't know why. That could just be me nitpicking, but I just feel like it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's all like, yeah, he's nitpicking. All right, guys, let's go to ratings. Uh, uh, was it, wait, was this the film that we deserved, Angela? I would say yes, because it's a very interesting concept. Uh, to yes. be honest, it's a really interesting concept. And, you know, the way it was well written and, mm. and you know, directed, I, I thought yes. it was a pretty good job. It was very entertaining, Definitely. kept me entertained the whole time. It is two hours, almost two and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, but the whole time, I kind of wanted to know more. More, yes. So I really wanted to see, because you think that when... Um, you know, these characters are thrown into the future and they come back. Like, that's the end of it. But that's actually not. There's, there's more story so much here. more story yes. to it. Because, yeah, this runtime's two hours and, and 20 minutes. So there's a lot of story to be told here, guys. So I, 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 I really like that, too. So it has, like, these yeah. action sequences. But it's not so much, I think, uh, the word I want to use is, like, or phrase is, like, battle fatigue. Like, yeah. you don't see, you don't, you, want, you don't get bored just no. by these action sequences. They have these... Yeah fast and slow moments that very kind of good balance out yeah very good entertaining and again the creatures were terrifying and brutal and they were just it was very creative i would say it just it's a very different kind of creature that you have not seen in a Those while they're terrifying yeah most definitely all right Angela, let's go to ratings ratings one out of ten ten being the highest what do you need to give it i'll give it a solid seven seven oh that's right you said i'm gonna give it a seven as well sorry i think you already said you're ready <laughs> uh we give it a seven as well guys uh, i just i really enjoyed this movie uh, it just, again, though, I'm going to keep mentioning it once again. I'm not a Chris Pratt fan, but I still enjoyed it. All right, so that just shows it, guys. Anyone who's not a Chris Pratt fan, you're still going to enjoy this movie, and I guarantee you this comes out on July 2nd on Amazon Prime and in theaters, guys. So be sure to check this out this coming Friday. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm Most City Movie Talk does recommend this movie, ladies and gentlemen, so be sure to check this out. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, if you like a review. As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. Ryan 680. I'm Angela with that cat lady, Ange. Any else final thoughts or that's it? Uh, definitely give it a try. It is, it, it could surprise you. You know, it, it, like, it surprised me in a lot of sequences. And surprised I think me. that it will, you will find it very entertaining. Um, yeah. Regardless of if you like Chris Pratt or not. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for talking movies with us. If, uh, if you did not like this movie, put it in the comments down below. Maybe you freaking loved it. Put it in the comments down below. Prove me wrong, guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. Catch y'all there. Stay classy, San Antonio. Thanks for talking movies.